What's going on guys? Vegan Prince here, Tim Sheep, Tim the Human. Coming at you live and direct. Hopefully this uploads within an hour of filming it. I'm at the Hard Rock Hotel. I just wanted to sort of back up and reiterate what I talked about on my main channel. If you saw the blog today, um, there was one topic I covered about wearing sunglasses and getting sunburn. And it's something I've, I've thought a lot about, something I've not uh, done experiments with, with like in labs with people or anything <laughs> other than my own experience. Um, I remember when I was a kid and I went on holiday to France and I had these uh, sunglasses I got from, I think it was from a McDonald's Happy Meal, some men in black sunglasses and I loved them. Boy, they program you young, don't they? They program you young. <laughs> sunglasses from a Happy Meal, bro. Uh, and I love these glasses and I got really sunburnt on that trip and I never made the connection at the time now looking back it's easy to make the connection and I saw a guy out here waiting to get a taxi and his sunglasses a massive burn down his leg and he was joking uh, with the valet guy about how long the you know how he got burnt and that and I was like dude you're wearing sunglasses like try not wearing sunglasses um, you see a difference right by the airport lovely location <laughs> Yeah, um, and I can't say anything for fact, and I, I can only speak from my experience and what I've learned. And there are people that, that agree with it, and there are people that completely disagree. Um, sunglasses are a sheet of plastic created by humans, thinking that it's intelligent design, smarter than the eyeball itself, man. And and I can't have that, you know. I understand in a scenario where it's an extreme change of uh, environment. So you suddenly go skiing and you're higher up, close to the sun, considerably closer, if it's only 3,000 miles away. Anyway, um, and, uh, or you go to the desert, you know, and you've not evolved, no, you've not evolved, you've not grown up with these climates, you've not hardened through these uh, these climates and environments. Um, and I can certainly conceive in those scenarios, it's, it, it may be smart to protect yourself, and it may not. Um, but the way we live sometimes make fearful choices and it's best to, best to play it safe if other people are doing it. I'm not going to tell you not to do it. But in an environment and a climate where we, where you grew up, um, you should not have to wear sun cream. You should not have to wear sunglasses. If I'm in England, I will never wear sunglasses or sun cream. And if, if I get burnt, they call it burnt, so it's automatically a negative thing. My skin gets red. That might not necessarily be a bad thing. I don't know that it's a bad thing. People talk about skin cancers from, from the sun. There's other factors involved. Dietary involved, lifestyle. Um, there's a book by, I think, John Ott about health and light. You can check that one out. Uh, and he talks in that about the healing properties. He went on holiday and his glasses broke and his sunglasses broke and his eyes eyesight improved during that period of time when he wasn't shielding his eyes from the sun. You know, people sun gaze, people stare at the sun at morning and night and they, it strengthens their eyes, they get charged up. They talk about being, you know, breatharian from that. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. What do, what do we know? You can't say you know this stuff. I'm just offering a perspective. Overall, what I'm, what I'm saying though is, for me, I've got less sunburn. One, since I stopped wearing sunglasses. Two, I may wear, if I wear sun cream, it might be on the second day. If, if the Sunday I feel like, okay, I was close to feel, because it's not a nice feeling when you, when you skin peels, that's definitely gone too far. But a bit of, you know, so, a soft touch is all right from the sun. A kiss by the sun is all right. Sun kissed. Um, we chase, people get, get uh, go to sunbeds. People go to sunbeds so that they look tanned because being tanned is attractive because there's an innate desire with us to be attracted to someone that is outside in the sun because being in the sun is healthy. So we fake that and we put, we have fake tan, we put fake tan on and we go to sunbeds and put these things in our eyes, which is, which is chaotic because it messes with our whole nature cycle because then we're attracted to someone that's not actually healthy behind the surface, they've just got the aesthetic of health. The same way people go to the gym and they're not actually mentally healthy or, or they've not got uh, physical attributes of the movement that it would imply from the physical body that they've got. They've just got stiff movements. I um, mean, this is cheating the system the same, you know, with gym and with, with fake tan. And, and it's a very 
false world and, and fake is the right word to use there um, so yeah that's it I just wanted to speak on that and hopefully give you some more depth I'm not telling you what to do I'm not telling you what to think I'm trying to give my insight and the way I see things uh, someone said they on the beach and that some people said they're vegan and they've noticed they don't get burned since they've been vegan and I feel like if you're eating fruit and veg from the climate that you're in that the sun's growing so if I eat fruit from Ibiza where I am right now and the sun was growing that fruit and it's in the same distance from the sun etc then that fruit's going to do some positivity and help. Um, it's going to help my relationship with the sun because because of that that's how I feel could be bullshit that's how I feel um, but someone said oh they got burnt and they've been vegan they were on the beach between 11 and 1 and you know Fair enough, in the, in the hottest point of the day, and if it's not in the climate you evolved in, um, maybe, maybe. You, I'm not saying you can't ever get burnt, of course you can still get burnt, but I, I'm, I'm saying be wary of sunglasses. It's like, but it is it's like bare feet. We're meant to have bare feet, but then we grew up wearing shoes and walking on concrete. Right? If you were meant to not have to wear sunglasses, but you might have grown up in a city where you hardly ever saw the sun and you're in a house in a school or whatever all the time and you hardly ever saw the sun so your eyes are not really adapted and, and strengthened the way the sun would have strengthened them if you grew up with that the way it would strengthen the soles of your feet if you grew up barefoot um, so you certainly have to err, you know err on the side of caution sometimes and be smart about it but going forward you know I would have loved to have been raised bare feet and um, so, my, so my feet were tough um, and you know I'm, I'm not down with the sunglasses someone mentioned oh you're wearing a cap though but it, it was backwards um, I'm doing a race in Greece at the month I might wear a cap over, over my eyes for that if I'm running up, up a mountain for things so certain circumstances I'm not completely against it but I certainly am not I'm not like going around like when I'm in, like in Hard Rock Hotel, this is the epitome of sunglasses wearing. Everyone you see walking around here is wearing sunglasses. Um, and it's funny. It's funny. Life is funny. Life is funny. There's a guy from NASA today delivering a talk. I couldn't help but laugh. To myself, anyway. No, one, no one's with it yet. No one's with it yet, anyway. That's all for now, guys. Love you all.